limbering up for the race that brings couples closer together. That's if the wife or person being carried makes the grade at the weigh-in. A crucial moment because any wife who weighs less than uh, 50 kilograms has to then make up the weight with tins of baked beans, but Steph, I think we're safe, okay? Back on the start line, it was obvious we were up against experienced athletes here who take this race very seriously. We've done a lot of training. I picked her up in the kitchen and jogged around the kitchen for a little bit. I'm a track runner, but he's a marathon runner. Yeah. I think these sort of races are going to be taking off, actually. Yeah, I've been watching the telly standing on my head to prepare for the blood rushing to my head, so I think we're ready. Look at how fit everyone is here! Yeah, They're like scary no one before has ever had the woman carrying the man, so we're going to enter sporting history. Well, Steph and I have been doing our own training in the studio, albeit in front of a rather bemused Charlie and Susanna. There you go, one small sports presenter. But on the start line, it was obvious that the Estonian hold was going to be the fastest, but also the most precarious. Can we go with the very traditional, what I call the piggyback method? It might not be as quick, but I think it's safer if we're yeah. going to get over those hay bales yeah, and over the Yeah, because we can show them how that's done. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Luckily for Steph, you don't have to be married anymore to enter this race. Anyone can carry anyone. But we would make sporting history if Steph could become the first woman to carry a man up and around the 250 meter jump course. Up the hill, it's the hardest bit. She was also carrying top weight. I was the heaviest wife at 74 kilos. Wife carrying races started in Finland in the 1990s to make sure we never forget one of their most notorious criminals, whose gang raided villages for their wives. <laughs> Thankfully today, everyone is willing, even if it can still be daring, and helmets are worn for good reason. Thankfully, Judy, on the left here, who was taken to hospital, wasn't seriously injured. Yes. Steph and I had our own issues. You're strangling me! As for the runaway winners, who now go on to represent the UK at the Worlds in Finland, they were home in two minutes. It is exceptionally, exceptionally tough. And the people that came in the top ten, the top five, even the top three, are probably national champion, national standard athletes. For Steph and I, the last few furlongs were lonely and wet. But despite my apparent fidgeting in the saddle, Steph summoned up immense strength and roared on by the crowd, got us across the line and into the wife-carrying history books. Mike Bushell and Steph at Dorking.